Hey ladies, my name's Amy. I'm the one who put the sample pack um, together for you for the girls' night out. So this video is going to show you uh, the best way to apply a Jamberry nail wrap um, to make sure they last as long as they should. Um, on your fingers, they should last up to two weeks and on your toes, they say up to four weeks, but generally speaking, most people last months until they grow out. <laughs> um, but you have the sizes perfect for fingers. So we'll do some fingers today. Um, so the first thing you need are a few tools. Now, Jamboree sells application kits and I often give away little application bits and pieces with all my purchases. Um, but you don't need everything Jamboree. You just don't, okay? So you should be able to apply your sample with things that you already have around the house. Um, and I'm gonna show you what you can use, which you'll find around the house. So um, the first thing that you need is some sort of prep wipe. Now this is the Jamboree one and I'll show you what you can use from around the house instead. So if you check your first aid kit you should have hopefully some alcohol swabs in there. You can use that. Some first aid kits are deluxe and they'll have, this is actually a Jamboree version, but um, you might actually have a bottle of um, alcohol to put on swabs. If you don't have that you um, can check the cupboard you might have some white vinegar that's what we use on young kids um, when we're doing junior jams anyway so you can use some white vinegar and then the other alternative which I actually use as well as my nail prep wipes but you can use it instead of if that's all you've got is dishwashing liquid so grease cutting dishwashing liquid with no moisturizer in it though because you don't want to moisturize your nails you want to cut the grease off your nails so that is the first thing that you need the second thing is an orange stick now alternatives to this is just something sharp or you could use a skewer from the kitchen or even on most nail clippers they've got this little sharp thing you could totally use that as well okay so they are the main things that you need for nail prep you can also if you've got a buffer block use a buffer um, if you are applying your wrap over the top of um, shellac or gel or acrylics a buffer would really come in handy just to rough up the surface a little bit. It won't ruin your shellacs or acrylics, but it will give the wrap something to stick to a little bit better. Now, for me, this is a really important tool, um, a pair of tweezers. Now, in lots of application videos, if you Google Jamberry application, you'll see the girls using their orange stick to pick up the wrap off of the plastic and stick it on their nail. I am not coordinated enough for that. <laughs> so I use tweezers because I don't want to physically touch the wrap myself. Otherwise the oils from my fingers will get um, into the glue and it won't last as long. Number five is a heat source. Now I have a Jamberry mini heater, which is fantastic for me because I do my nails every week or two. Um, but if you're just applying the sample for the first time or you're just checking out Jamboree for the first time, you can use any heat source. So first thing people go for is a hairdryer. I would recommend staying away from a hairdryer because you have to hold it up. It blows things away and they're often quite hot. I would recommend grabbing out your toaster using a car heater or um, even a room heater going over the stove or you could get a hair straightener and turn that on and have that near you and use that as your heat source so something warm basically you could even use a wheat bag as well but you might have to ask me in my VIP group to give you a demo for that today because um, I don't have time today <laughs> um, but anything warm you can use okay so then an unnecessary object would be a cuticle pusher. If you've got one, by all means, grab it out. If you don't have one, don't stress. You can use your fingers for that step. 
then you need a nail file if you don't have a nail file around home clippers are fine um, or nail scissors are also fine for that step and then finally you will need your nail wrap so your samples will be one of these five sizes that is the five smaller sizes that you'll get in a sheet of Jamboree nail wraps. So this is what a standard sheet looks like. There are 22 wraps on there. Each wrap does two nails, although these bigger ones up here, you can do two big toes and eight little toes. So those two large wraps do a whole petty. So you've got two petties, two manis, and then four, roughly four, some people have more if they've got shorter nails. Um, four spare wraps for accent nails um, or to mix and match. So I mix and match my manis all the time. So I generally use two to four off a sheet at a time. Um, then they last me forever, basically. Um, these are the junior size sheets as well while I'm at it. There's 42 wraps on a junior sheet. So they do a ton of manis and petties for your little kids. And they're so cute as well. I've actually bought the junior ones for myself and done them on my toes and done little mini accent ones on my pinkies as well because they're so cute. Anyway, back to it. So your sample should do two nails. Um, and while they are the five smaller sizes from the sheet, they're generally perfect for just one of your nails um, today because... If you look at my nails from this direction, it looks like they're covering the whole nail. But if I'm, if I peel it back a little bit there, it's hard to tell. But you can see there is a slither of nail down the side um, outside my wrap. And that is because you want your wrap to be slightly smaller than your fingernail. Because if it's bigger than your fingernail, then it will overlap and it'll get caught on things your hair will get underneath it um, the oils from your fingers will get onto it and the glue will um, come away a lot sooner if it's slightly smaller than your nail it will fit perfectly to your nail and then none of those oils from your skin are going to touch the wrap at any point in time therefore they're going to be more likely to last the full two weeks so whichever wrap that you've got pick a nail that is slightly, slightly bigger than that wrap. Um, and also you can cut them to size if you wanna pick a different nail. Okay, so to get started, you need to prep your nails. So I've already started my nails, so I've already prepped them. But what I do is I wash them in the dishwashing liquid first, or I use my nail prep wipe. Then I grab my orange stick and I go around the edge of my nail. So. This is what I do. So with that sharp side, I go around the edge of my nail and I've already done this, so nothing should really come away from it. But you'll generally find, even though you never noticed it before because it's invisible, that little white flakes kind of come up from the sides of your nails. And that's called your invisible cuticle and that holds lots of oils. So you don't even see it, but it holds lots of oils around the edges of your nails. And just like I was talking about before, your skin touching the nail wraps are gonna make, make them come off quicker. So will invisible cuticles. So if you're not bringing that off, your nail wrap is not gonna last as long as it possibly can. Then a quick buff. Now we're not at the salon, we don't wanna ruin our nails to get these things on. You just wanna give it a quick buff no damage to your nail whatsoever, and your nails are prepped and ready to go. Then what I do is I pick up my nail wrap. I'm actually gonna bring this down so you can have a really good look of what I'm doing. I pick up my nail wrap with my tweezers, just in the top corner, and then I'm going to place it on my nail where I want it to go. Actually, I think I did a pretty good job. Oh. There we go. Okay, so the reason why I haven't heated it yet 
and I haven't really pushed it down yet is because I want to make sure I get it in the correct place. Okay, if I put it on crooked, I can just pick it up with my tweezers and move it again. If I already started heating it up, I wouldn't be able to do that so easily. Okay, so next I'm just going to heat the top of my nail for a couple of seconds in front of my heat source and then I'm going to push really hard down the center of my nail only. So I haven't stuck the sides of my nail wrapped down yet. I've only stuck down the center. So here's a bit where you can use a cuticle pusher to really give it lots of pressure while you're pushing it down. Heat and pressure are your friend. Okay. So just for a few seconds. Then I'm going to heat the, uh, one side of my nail. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to push down that side where I heated. So the heat makes it a bit flexible so it can stick to a round surface rather than a flat surface. Then I'm going to heat the other side and do the same. Push down. So that is called the cold one, two, three method. So I place it on cold, then I did one down the center, one down that side and one down that side. Okay, so that has bonded to my nail. You can see it's a bit longer than my nail. What I can do if I'm busting for the toilet, unlike when I've painted my nails and you're busting for the toilet halfway through a manicure, you have to wait half an hour anyway. Um, I can just give that a quick little trim, run to the toilet or go change a nappy or whatever I need to do around the house if it's urgent um, and wait for it to cool before coming back. Okay, um, I haven't cut it all the way to the edge of my nail because it's warm and it's stretched over my nail, it still might as it cools stretch back a little bit. So I haven't cut all the way to my nail, I've left a little bit extra. I don't know if you can see that underneath there. But that's it, okay? So the last step is to file, but I'm waiting for it to cool. So that's as simple as it was, okay? These should take you about the same time as just painting your nails regularly, but you don't have that awful drying time afterwards and they're not gonna chip like nail polish as well. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll show you a couple of the bits and pieces that are on the Girls' Night Out specials list. So the first one is purchase any item from our Peppermint Indulgence foot care range and receive a free wraps for your toes. So as I said before, these two wraps are enough to do a whole pedi. So you get sent enough to do a whole pedi for free with any foot care purchase. So we don't just do nail wraps, we do do a lot of other things as well. So I'll start with step one. This is my favorite. This is the soak. Peppermint foot soak. It is beautiful to smell and to have your feet in. Um, so you just put a tub of warm water or cold water if it's a really hot day um, and a tablespoon of soak. So you get a ton out of it. I reckon there's about 20 foot soaks in a tub. Then step two is the Renew Peppermint Foot Scrub. This stuff is the best. <laughs> it's um, It's got lava rocks and it's got pumice and it's obviously got peppermint as well because it's a peppermint foot range. Oh, I can't smell it. It's a new one. Um, it smells divine as well. So that is so nice to scrub your feet with. And then once you take your feet out and dry them off, you can use your moisturizing peppermint foot cream, which is Soothe, which is the last step. So any one of those, we also do, if you purchase all three, you get this cute little marble rose gold um, bag to keep them in or to keep your makeup in. It's a good little travel case um, if you're going anywhere. But anyway, that comes free if you buy all three. But um, for the girls' night out, you get your wraps for your toes 
free um, if you purchase any one of those. And so you just need to select Girls Night Out on the website when you check out just to make sure your free gift is sent to you because that's done separately. Um, the next special is our style box. I'll bring you up back up here again. <laughs> I feel weird talking to you and you can't see my face. Okay. So this comes direct to your door every month, at the beginning of the month. You get to decide between six exclusive wraps every month. So those exclusives are only available for Starbox customers. Um, they are not available to purchase on the website or through VIP groups or anything like that. You have to have Starbox to get them. You get to choose between six. So there's six different ones and you get to choose two of them, your two favourite ones. If you want more, you can absolutely get more. If you want standard wraps as well, included in the box, it is the same buy three, get the fourth free deal, which is awesome. So um, these are just a couple of the recent Starbucks exclusives that I've picked. Can you tell I like black and white? <laughs> um, so yeah, two each month with those. You also get fresh tools to use each month and they often put in little gifts as well. So this is something we got the other month. It's just a handbag size nourish, which is our beautiful hand cream, um, which is like the perfect little size and I can't break myself to open it. <laughs> That's so cute. Anyway, so there are a few different deals with Stylebox put on there so let me just read them so I get them right um, one month so you can do a month by month subscription um, and you get a free half sheet of wrap so you get a full strip so you get enough for a petty enough for a mani and then some extras and I can also show you how to divide them up if you only like petties or you only like manis I've got some good ways on how to split up your sheet in my VIP group as well so if you want to do a three month subscription and pay up front, you get a free full sheet of wraps. There's 300 or something to choose from, by the way, um, all on the website. So you get to choose which ones you want as well. Um, six months up front, you get a free peppermint foot soak. My favorite <laughs> um, and 12 months up front they also the prices drop as you go um, bigger as well you get it's plugged into the wall but a free mini heater which is so handy once you know that you love jams the mini heater is a lifesaver okay and then the final um, girls night out special is to host an online party in July or June so there's no need to um, get everyone um, available on the same night, the same place. You don't have to dress up. You can totally all wear your PJs and just sit on the couch and be on your phone on Facebook. Um, they're lots of fun. We play heaps of games so you guess win lots of prizes. There's no pushy sales stuff. We just have a lot of fun and I go um, live and do a few demos and show you a few tips and tricks. So you've got the general gist of an application from today but I will show you lots of other awesome tips and tricks live as well. So that's a lot of fun and they go over a few days. So um, make sure you PM me or email me really quickly because I'm starting to fill up for July as well. So um, get on to that as soon as you decide to do it. Um, and just a reminder, if you do do the Starbucks or the Foot Care range um, specials, make sure you select Girls Night Out at the checkout because I send out the gifts separately and I don't want to miss miss you okay um all right so my nail wrap should well and truly be cooled by now and i'm just going to show you how to get the end off so you just grab my file and i just go in a downward motion so i never file going back up okay only ever file going downwards you can see it's starting to come off and tips Only a few seconds. If you use your hands a lot for tools, um, if you're really rough on your hands, I would recommend going on a slight angle this way 
so that the wrap is off the edge of your nail and it won't lift up at all if you use your nails as tools. So that's it, the edge is completely gone. If you have super short nails and you can't do that, you can use nail clippers and just clip the ends off. So that's generally what I do with my toes, I use the nail clippers. Also, um, if you prefer clipping instead of filing or if you don't have a file at home, you can leave your nails longer and then apply the wrap and then you can cut your nail with the wrap as well. So that's a good way to get the edge off. So there we have it. So it's molded to my nail. It should last around two weeks because I've done all my prep, made sure my physical cuticle was gone. And easy done. So, and again, if you've got any questions at all, please send me a text, PM me, email me, um, whatever you are, whatever's best for you. Ooh. Um, head over and check out my VIP group though because I've got tons of lots of tips and tricks um, for your nails. It's also lots of fun like we have little games every now and then with prizes. I've got a birthday club so you get sent something on your birthday. Um, I love to see how your sample goes. We also have a Manny of the Month post where you can put a picture of your Manny so even if it's just the one sample. You can put a post um, up showing us a picture and you go in the draw to win some awesome prizes just for trying it out. So make sure you check out that. It's called JB Squad VIPs. JB Squad is my team. Um, if you're interested in doing this for a living, making money off having pretty nails, feel free to contact me. There's some really good um, incentives happening over the next few months um, for people who join up new which is awesome so there's extra incentives not just the extra few hundred dollars a month um i think that's about it <laughs> i don't want to keep you for too long so yep any questions please please contact me don't forget those girls night out specials end at the end of the month um so make sure you head over to my website to do that before the month ticks over to July. But hope you had a great girls night out and hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys.